Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life, and this is my design team project for Line.Arrow. And it's a journal that I made with the beautiful papers of um, uh, spring writings, they are called. And I will pop a link to these beautiful papers. This is one of the cards that is in the kit below this video. So please check out Line.Arrow, the spring writings papers, and you know, the Etsy shop of Line.Arrow, which is Natalie. She's a fellow Dutchie. Dutch lady like I am and um, I love to be on her design team this is my second project for her and since it was called spring writings I used this um, it was actually like a cushion case cushion cover and I have the other side left so it was two-sided of course so this is the one side and I used the other side like the middle piece this piece I used as the cover for this journal since it had writing on it so I thought that went really well with this kit spring writing so here's some of the writing of course there's my little label on there made with love by Lens Crafty Life but let me get into this now I put some dangles here on the side I uh, hope you can see that hope I may focus it's a little key with a flower because it's spring, of course, spring writing. And this is like a little uh, pen nib, felt pen nib. It's not an original. I do have some originals, but they have incredibly pointy tips, which may hurt you. So I won't be able to use those as dangles, I think, in future. Now, this was like a, a silver lookalike one, and I went over it with some ink from Stazon. It's the ganache ink. So it had kind of like this, almost like a rusty effect, which I really like. And I did the same technique with the ganache ink from Stazon on this little butterfly because it was very bright, kind of silvery colored. And this one is on a green pull ball pin. This one is kind of like on a, uh, well, a platinum colored pull pin. This is on a uh, bronze colored ball pin. And the last one is on a black colored ball pin. And this is the W since the kit was called Spring Writings, as you <laughs> well know. So the W from Writings I used for the kit that's been used, but also, of course, a journal is for writing. So that's the W. Now, if this goes to a person with a name starting with a W, that would be wonderful. Don't have to. This journal is for sale and the proceeds minus the shipping will go to the Ukraine like I did with my last journal as well. I'm just trying to raise some money for the Ukraine. So if you're interested, um, I'll give you some more detail at the end of this video, but you can put in an offer. Um, please let it be above 25 US dollars because 25 US dollars will be the shipping only with track and trace code. That's worldwide shipping uh, with track and trace code. So anybody can put in an offer as long as it's above 25 USD, preferably above 50. So, you know, half of that would go to the Ukraine then and half to the shipping. So this is a bow that I made with some pretty kind of almost golden -y ribbon that went well with the trim that I used. This was from a lady um, that uh, that was into lampshades making. I don't know her myself, but that's the story I heard. So got some of that trim recently and this went really well, I think. And the funny thing of this ribbon is, is that there is some, how do you say, some iron in it. So you can is it iron, metal, uh, wire? That's the word. There's some wire in it. So I try to make it in a way, as you see sometimes on really old French bow frames. And then, you know, the bows are done like this. So that's what I tried to aim at, to give it a bit of an old look. Of course, you can do anything you want with this ribbon, if you like. Now, again, this is an image from the kit, which is like a, an old shaped frame with some pretty flowers on it, but also on the inside. And I put that on some bright paper, which I got here. Some pretty bright paper. And I've sewn it on and I've inked around the edge. And then I made this little flower. This is from like a, a doily piece that I had, which is crocheted. And then I had this crocheted flower in my stash. 
um, uh, don't know whom I got it from. And I just realized I forgot to put on some dangles on here. Well, that will be a surprise for whoever's going to get it. You'll get some dangles on here too. So um, the crochet piece I didn't do myself. Um, can't crochet, at least not yet. And I put like this golden half like flat back pearl in there, which again went well with. Also, the writing is a bit kind of yellowy, goldeny, so here we go on the inside. So here I put another strip from the fabric to make a little pocket. And this is all the materials, all the, the papers from the kit from Natalie. Natalie is from Line.Arrow. She's, uh, she's there. Line.Arrow is uh, hers. And also this little stamp is from the kit Spring Writings and I collage on paper that I had gessoed on before or stenciled on before with some white uh, paste and this is a bit of a doily put it on there to make a little bit of collage in here as well and in this kit it's really lovely really nice there are literally tons and tons of all these kind of labels I've used some as tabs on the edge of the papers and I use them all so I'll show you in this kit there's also lots of tags in there and another little postcard from the kit put it on there and I used a little flower cluster so that goes in here and this again is from the kit little journal card and I also printed on the back so this is also from the kit and these are more of the tiny they're, they're different sizes, from the larger ones to the tiny ones. There are loads of those little uh, tabs in this kit. Again, this is paper from the kit. Oh, and let me show you the inside. On the inside, this is basically, this is a cardboard cover. It's from a box, like a cereal box, but a bit different. I don't eat cereals, but, you know, similar as a cereal box. And um, so the fabric is on the outside, on the inside. I hope you can see that. It's this beautiful paper that I have embossed with this gorgeous embossing folder. I have an A4 embossing uh, folder as well as the, the Big Shot Plus machine. So I love using that. And I've also sewn it both on. So it's sewn all the way around the cover. So pop these in quickly. That goes pretty easy. And then this is the first tab with the little key on there. Again, this is this is actually the same print as this, but here Natalie has made it much smaller. Again, this is on the back of this paper. This is the paper from the kit, but on the back I printed one of my own um, uh, coffee dyed papers, which I uh, saved in my computer. So this is printed, so you can see the crinkles, but the paper itself is very smooth to write on. And again, some of the little labels on here. I put some flower trim here on the side and again these gorgeous papers I thought went really well with this page that I got from a book. It's a Dutch book all about flowers and I used a punch to make this kind of lacy edge. Now here this is in Dutch Vogelmuur which is basically bird wool and then this is all in Dutch um, a little story. So um, this again is the paper from the kit with more of the little labels. So some have wordings on there like loving and some are just plain that you can write on yourself. More papers from the kit and I added this beautiful flower trim. I also added this green. It's quite bright, uh, but I thought, you know, spring green is very bright usually so this is a handmade paper that I had in my stash so I thought it went well with this kit again again a little cluster some fabric and one of the tags and here another tag or label I should say one of the postcards from the kit that I collaged on a little bit over here and I've used it as a tuck spot with two more of the labels so, and here another label. I used two labels to make these tabs that were kind of similar in uh, width. Here, this is the, uh, the pen nib. 
is on there. This is my own uh, tea dyed paper. No, I think this was the onion skin one because it's got kind of this reddish glow. This was the onion skin one and I dried it in the oven so you can see kind of the, the imprint from the oven rack, which personally I really like. And here also, I'm not sure if you can see that I put on, I've got this like for fries, to, to fry fries in the oven or bake them in the oven, this, this um, grid that you put your fries on so they don't sink through your rack. And I dry this on there so you can see a little bit of that grit in there, which makes it a bit more grungy looking. Now here again, I used the, the lampshade trim, real vintage trim. One of the pockets from the kit, there are smaller ones and larger pockets. Here again, paper from her kit. And this is my own very grungy uh, paper that I printed on the back side. Tiny little label on there. Here again, I use the um, the punch. This is from the kit. This is original vintage wallpaper. So the little stains and dots that you see on here are original. That's vintage. I didn't do anything to this page. Even you can see that somebody, I don't know whom, not me, kind of, you know, put like a, a pencil line there. And I thought it just added to the whole vintage feel. So I thought... I'd keep that on there, and this is the front of the wallpaper. Again, I thought it went well with the kit, the spring-themed kit and the flowers. And these tags are in there. Now here, actually, I must confess, I printed on the back, but I printed too small or in the wrong way, upright, instead of long side, you know, landscape wide. So I printed over it again. So that's why this side is much darker than that side. And again, that's the print of my own uh, coffee dyed paper. But I thought it was quite neat to have that uh, diversion, that difference in coloring. Again, a little collage here. And I really, really love this page here on the right with these beautiful flowers and the writing in it very pretty and this is a floating pocket it's just on here with a paper clip so you can put it anywhere you like basically and this is a tag and i put one of the small pockets on here collage on it with a little bit of the uh, a little bit of fabric and one of the words this is a feather and this is another tab and i printed some of the pretty papers also on the back of the tags. I always like to do that to have kind of interesting backs as well on the ephemera. Here it says change and again this is the butterfly one that's on there. Now in here, I love this page by the way with the beautiful flower and in here I meant to only do one doily that I recently got at charity shops but I happen to do two doilies. Ta-da! You get one extra for free. <laughs> so I really actually like this because this gives you a lot of space to write again or put a little photo and it gives you like the whole doily. So there you go. I really like that. Beautiful page here with the roses, English garden roses. This is the middle of um, the signature. I've got to say it has one signature. It has um, 48 pages so that is front and back and this is one of the tags again from the kit and i put it on here with some fabric and i've sewn over it so that's not going anywhere it's on it very sturdy just for kind of a flip out effect this is one of the larger pockets with a little collage and more tags now here because there's so many of these small ones i did want to use them all up in this journal because they go with the kit and I thought I would put them on here with a little split pen. So if you want to, you can take these apart and use them as you like throughout the journal. They will have a little hole in it though, but you can, you know, put some diamond or something else on there. And again, I did a little bit of collaging here with another paper doily. And this again, let's fold that in. This is beautiful paper. Here again, the double paper doily that's in here. And here, this beautiful, love this, so pretty. 
And this, of course, is all the writing things, themes, I mean. Here another little cluster of the little tags. And this, again, is a floating tab with, you know, a kind of um, a vintage -y well vintage rose gold rose gold is probably not vintagey but it, there's a little bit of rusting on there but not so that it's dangerous for your hands or your health but adds to the vintage look so again i did the same thing here made a little cluster now this was a bright red flower i went over it again with the ganache stays on ink because that stays on on um things like uh Oh yeah, well, yeah, that's another idea. You can just do, use it like this, which is kind of cool. But in the end, I decided not to do that and to put it on with a little paper clip. This is my own coffee dyed paper, by the way. Original, not printed. This is the original. More beautiful uh, paper from the kit and some flower trim. This again from the kit. This is the old wallpaper, the vintage wallpaper with a pocket from Natalie. And a little cluster I made with a little piece of that vintage wallpaper again. And here another little cluster that I made with some fabric and ribbon. And from this tag I made a tuck spot. And this little envelope is in the kit as well. Again, a little, some of the little um, labels on there. I made a little slit in the envelope so you can close it. And in here is some of my own coffee dyed paper. Again, this is not the copy that I printed. This is the original uh, coffee dyed paper that's in there for you. A little bit of extra space to journal on. So that goes in there. And here again, you see one of my own. This is the uh, the onion skin dyed paper with a little ruster that you see. And this is the W, the last of the little tabs. So I put a little hole in there with... Um, it's not a grommet, I know, because a grommet is from two parts. The other one, eyelet. That's it, with an eyelet. And here... I added a tag. Now, this tag was from my own stash. I got it from Perio Blues, who's also here on YouTube. So, thank you, Perio. And put one of Natalie's little pockets on there. And I made out of some vellum that I had um, embossed. I made this tiny little notebook with, again, some original uh, photo, uh, not photo, original coffee dyed paper. And this one, this one that kind of folds out. And that goes in the tag. And the paper clip keeps it on place. Now again, this is from the kit, Spring Writings, with these beautiful little birds on there. I think they are supposed to be... Um, oh, what do you call them? Something with tit tits, I think. Tits, tits, march, chit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of the English gardener, Alan. Titchmarsh, isn't that his name? I don't know. <laughs> when I lived in England, love watching his show. Anyway, um, don't know what you call those birds in English. Uh, in Dutch, they are um, colmaceous, I guess. Although the colmaceous have like this black stripe also across the belly. So I don't think they're colmaceous or could be brother of the colmace. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Some more of the handmade green paper. That I added to this beautiful, I just love, love, like this ledger paper. There's so much going on in the ledger paper. You can see a bit of the old writing. A flower is on here, hyacinths and some stamping. This is like a tag. So I really love these papers that Natalie, you did a great job. Love these. So there's some more of the beautiful paper. Another little pocket from the kit and a tag with a little label on there. This is again from the Dutch flower book. And these are just Dutch flower names. It was like the content of the book and here as well. But I just love this writing since it was spring writing the kit. Some nice, interesting writing here again, page from the kit. And this again is printed on my own coffee dyed paper. Here a top tuck 
as you call it and a label from the kit and I printed some of Natalie's own uh, prints on the back as well beautiful butterfly and put a little cluster of flowers on there more beautiful roses on this paper and this again is the last page I left this one blank so you can really see the gorgeous gorgeous well I hope you can see that the gorgeous um, embossed uh, paper that I use there and this again is one of the larger uh, pockets that are in the kit with the two more labels and here another label still so there is really loads in this kit so please check out the kit and Natalie's um, Etsy shop uh, of which you will find the link below this video now again if you are interested in making an offer on behalf of the Ukraine for this journal um, so you basically decide on your own price and the highest bidder will get this journal and then again from the price 25 USD will be taking off to ship this to you uh, with track and trace code so you can either pop in a bit below this video I will pop this also on my Facebook page and in several Facebook groups but at the end I think I'll give this about a week I'll pop this up it is today Wednesday what is it I think the 12th of April 12 or 13 I think it's 12 um uh saturday was the 9th that was my birthday Shh, don't tell anyone sunday 10 monday 11 tuesday 12 so it's the 13th today so i'll pop this on uh till next tuesday inclusive so you can pop in um any offers on any of these where it uh, the pages are if there are if yours is the highest bid on a certain spot and somebody has overbid in a different place i will let you know so that you can go over that if you wish so um on the last day i will look up on from all the different pages who was the highest bidder i'll contact you and then if you want to overbid the other one you have one more last chance so there you go um i hope you will go for this put in an offer for the ukraine they really need it for food it will go the money will go to um an organization called youth with a mission ywem for short it's a worldwide christian organization and it, this will go to the base in germany where my daughter spent a few days a few weeks ago to help out with the ukrainian refugees that they are taking care of at that base so they have they had 25 it's already up to 40 so who knows what will happen in the future they may even be um, taking in more refugees over there so they need it for clothing um, for food you know of course the housing bedding there's lots and lots that they need to take care of these people their families children um you know so uh dire situation basically for uh, for the ukrainians but anyway you know enough about that so please do put in a generous offer which uh, will be great and hope you enjoy this and check out natalie's etchy shop and these papers her kit as well thank you have a wonderful day bye bye